Hello, I'm Chris. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. So, who doesn't want to impress their work colleagues with the way that they smell? If you just answered me to that question then, turn the video off because it's not for you. But if you do want to impress your work colleagues, keep watching because I've picked out five stunning fragrances that I think will give you a good chance of wowing your workmates. Stay tuned. I know there are tons of videos out there about fragrances to wear in the workplace, but all those videos tend to recommend fragrances that are very office safe, but maybe a little bit boring, maybe just fade into the background a bit. So I wanted to choose fragrances that aren't gonna fade into the background, that will stand out a little bit more. Still office appropriate, but more likely to get you noticed and get you some attention. I also wanted to pick fragrances that not only will work in an office or wherever your workplace is, but often, people go out for drinks after work. So I've chosen fragrances that I think will work equally as well in a bar, even a club, as they will in the workplace. I think they're multifunctional. And let's not forget, Christmas parties are coming up. Maybe there's someone in the workplace you've got your eye on, got a little bit of a crush on. Disclaimer, <laughs> there is no guarantee that any of these fragrances are gonna help you pull, that people are gonna let you know that they are impressed by your fragrance. I don't want you coming to me saying, Chris, you're full of shit. These fragrances didn't impress anyone in the workplace. Well, it's all subjective. But what I'm saying is, I think these fragrances give you a better chance of impressing your work colleagues than standard safe office fragrances. My plan is to go through five different fragrances at five different price points. So we are going to start off with a cheapie, then we're going to start with a cheaper designer fragrance, then a more expensive designer fragrance, getting into niche but more affordable niche, and then the fifth fragrance will be a more expensive niche fragrance. So hopefully there's a bit of something for all budget options in the video. The first one we're going to start with, the cheapie. This is from one of my favourite cheapie brands actually, very popular. This is Zara's Vibrant Leather. If you know this fragrance or if you've been researching the fragrance community or you've seen any videos, you will have heard of Creed's Aventus. Probably the most popular niche fragrance on the market. There's a good reason for that. Most people love it. It's a fantastic smelling fragrance. The quality is great. You can question batches in recent years not being as good as earlier batches, but it's still a superb fragrance. Very, very pricey though, particularly in the States where I think it's even more expensive. So if you want to give off those Aventus vibes, if you want to impress people in your workplace with the Aventus smell, then you could go for Zara's Vibrant Leather. This is about 20 pounds or probably similar in the States, about $20 for a 100 ml bottle. But this does the job. It really does smell quite close to Aventus. It's maybe not got the same amount of depth or quality, but it's not far off. And most people in the workplace would not know the difference between smelling Creed Aventus and smelling something that smells like Creed Aventus. I would say that this is maybe not as pineapple-y. It's not quite as fruity. I think it leans more to the, to the bergamot and the citruses. And despite the name, it's not a very leathery fragrance. There's just a little hint of it in there, but just like Aventus, it's not a particularly leathery fragrance. I think this smells great. I get pretty decent performance off Vibrant Leather, so no complaints. It would work really well in the workplace if you work in maybe an office or anywhere indoors, but this is gonna work really well if you go out after work, if you go for those drinks, if you go to a club, uh, you can even take the bottle with you, give yourself another little spray before you leave the workplace. Zara's Vibrant Leather at this price is gonna give you a smell that I think will give you a good chance of getting noticed. The next one we're moving on to is the more affordable designer option. So this is Spice Bomb Infrared. I love the original, many people do. It's many people's signature scent and for good reason. It's a very likeable fragrance, but it's interesting as well. It's got a bit of sexiness about it. It's got some attitude. A lot of people will be wearing that fragrance. So maybe you can just stand out above all the other Spice Bomb wearers and go with Spice Bomb Infrared. It takes that original Spice Bomb DNA and it just rounds things out. It's a little deeper and richer. I think it's a little more sensual. So, you know, if you've got your eye on someone in the office, this could be a, a good option. Thrown into the mix, there's a red fruity berry accord, which I think works really nicely with the Spice Bomb DNA. This is quite strong. It lasts a long time. It lasts all day. People will really enjoy this. I think it is office appropriate, but at the same time, it's kind of fun. It's sweet because of that cinnamon. So if you want something that is 
appropriate for the workplace, but a little bit fun, a little bit lively, a little bit sensual. This will work really well. And because of those reasons, this would also work well outside of the workplace. So if you're going into that bar, if you're going into a nightclub, it's fun and lively enough to really stand out in those situations as well. So if you haven't tried it, stand out above all the other Spice Bomb wearers and go with Spice Bomb Infrared. I'm loving this one right now. It's gonna set you back around 40 pounds for a 50 ml bottle like this, which I think is pretty decent value. The next one I'm gonna look at is a more expensive designer fragrance. I'm going with Tom Ford. This one does push the price sort of more into niche pricing territory. I'm going with Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. You can get a 50 ml bottle like this for around 80 pounds. A 100 ml bottle will be about 120 pounds. So it does get quite pricey, but in my opinion, it is well worth it because I think it will get you noticed. It's got quite a unique DNA that people won't be used to smelling on people in the office. So I think that's a reason why you will stand out and get noticed, but it's a beautiful smelling fragrance. Smells similar to Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather, which is in the private blend line, which is much more expensive. And actually Ombre Leather used to be in the private blend, but now it's cheaper in the signature line, but it's more rounded. It's got less sharp edges. It's less challenging and divisive than Tuscan Leather. Based on my own experience is liked by people. People around you are always gonna like this. I've worn this in the workplace and I've had multiple comments on how good I smell and how much they enjoy this fragrance. You don't need to spray much of this. I mean, I've just got this little 50 ml bottle and it's lasting me a long time. It's a strong fragrance, so don't overdo it. But I think it is appropriate enough to wear around people during the working day. But when you come to the evening, this rocks. If you're going out for drinks after work, or if you are having a night out, or if it's your work's Christmas do, this one is gonna go down a treat. The only thing I will say is it's quite sweet. So maybe if you're a little older and you don't want fragrances that are too sweet, you might want to consider the new or the newer Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. So this smells very similar, but it's not as sweet. It's a little drier. And because of that, I think it leans a little older. So if you are a little older or you don't want something that smells too youthful or sweet, this would be a fantastic option. I've got to say, as much as I love ombre leather and it lasts a long time, I'm getting to eight to 10 hours in a day of wearing this. And I do have to say towards the end of the day, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes the sweetness is maybe just getting a little bit too much, just verging on becoming a little bit sickly. Maybe I'm overspraying it, I don't know. But I find that the Parfum combats that problem because it doesn't have that sweetness. Um, it has the lasting power of the uh, EDP, but when you're getting towards the end of the day, you're not getting fed up of the sweetness because it's not quite there. It does have some sweetness, but it is a little drier and a little more refined. So if you wanna come across as someone who has uh, an assured confidence, I think that uh, Ombre Leather Parfum is a really good option. Both of these are great. Can't go wrong with any of them, but that's a little sweeter. That is a little drier and maybe a little more refined. The next one is a niche fragrance. We are diving into niche territory here, but we're not going too expensive. This is Royal Satisfaction from the brand Swedoff. They're a Swedish brand. <laughs> Just love this one so much. This smells along the same lines as Spice Bomb, but it smells higher quality, it has better performance. The saffron is a little more prominent in this one. It's a very easy to wear fragrance. It's going to go down really well with people in the workplace. So think the original Spice Bomb, but better. It's got a better performance. It smells higher quality. It's gonna last longer. So if you're going out for those drinks after work. Works Christmas party? Yes, please. It will definitely do the job in that situation. The price on this is 65 pounds for 30 mil. So more expensive than some designers, for example, it's the Spice Bomb, but not too far away really from Tom Ford. So you're sort of blurring those lines between designer and niche. I know some people just instantly will turn off or not watch a video that's about niche fragrances, but why when they can be a similar price to some designer fragrances? Royal Satisfaction from Swedoff is a belter. The last fragrance. I'm gonna say this is my favorite on the list. I'm a big fan of this brand. It's Roger Parfums. This one, it's not Elysium. I think that would be great in an office but maybe it wouldn't get you noticed quite as much as this one. This is danger. Don't worry, 
Despite the name, it is not too dangerous to wear in the office. I think it is just perfect. It's got some freshness, it's got some lavender, some citrus, so it's got a nice clean profile. It's got this amazing powdery quality combined with some oriental vibes. I think there's some vanilla in here, so it's got a sweetness and it just all combines to smell absolutely fantastic. My favourite fragrance of all time is Enigma from Roger Parfums, but you know what? This is not far behind. I've worn this in lots of different situations, nights out, I've worn it casually, it absolutely hits the spot for me every single time. I love this fragrance so much. This is the Parfum Cologne version. The cost of this is gonna set you back 225 pounds for 100 mil, which may sound expensive. It's certainly more expensive than any of the other fragrances here, but it's not as expensive as a lot of niche fragrances. It's maybe half the price of some of the other, uh, less than half the price of many of the other Roger Parfums fragrances. So if you want to dive into luxury, if you want to dive into the house of Roger Parfums, then the Parfum Cologne line is a brilliant way of doing that. Danger for me adds a little bit of edge to a very nice, easy to wear, mass appealing fragrance. It's just got a bit more attitude, which is why I put it on this list, because I think it's going to stand out. It's going to help you get noticed. I think this fragrance will definitely impress your work colleagues, your mum, your dad, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever. It is a fragrance that will just impress anyone that you come into contact with. Stunning fragrance, Danger from Roger Parfums. So there you go, five stunning fragrances or six if you include the two ombre leathers that I think will help you to stand out above most other people in the workplace. So if that's something that you want to do, if that's something that's important to you, then definitely check out these fragrances. Go into a store, sample them first if you can. We've all got different preferences, but based on my own experiences and what I enjoy, I can highly recommend every single one of these fragrances. And hopefully there's a little bit of something here for everyone's budget. Let me know what your favorite fragrances to stand out in the workplace are. I'm not talking about fragrances that are too safe or maybe a little bit boring. I'm talking about fragrances that are going to stand out above the rest. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, maybe even subscribe. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one.